This is Twit. Well, this one is fun because, of course, we have the the Google I.O. flowers that will be sprouting soon. Um, <laughs> and one per- After all the rain. After all the rain. <clears throat> Excuse me. And one particular flower that might sprout up, uh, to continue with the metaphor, is maybe a new Chromecast dongle, perhaps, Ooh. possibly. Ooh. Um, a 4K Chromecast dongle for those of us who may have, you know, dropped the cash on the 4K TVs. Uh, so... This one was discovered by one of the friends of the show, Daniel Tyson at Ozdroid. A 4K ATV stick with a big Google G on it. Uh, this just flew through the FCC. That looks curiously like mm. the current iteration of the Chromecast, except a little more oblong-ish. Uh, yeah. Kind of like a, a teardrop. More, yeah, like a teardrop. Yes, actually, that's better. A teardrop. Maybe to indicate its 4Kness somehow. I don't know. Maybe, maybe to indicate <laughs> that it's crying. Or yeah, you're crying sure. after you paid so much for a 4K TV and you have nothing to watch on it. Sure. Uh, it includes a voice remote with an assistant button for control, uh, and it basically basically looks like a Chromecast that would run Android TV. It's oh. running Oreo, uh, and there's also a manual posted for it, which kind of lends a little more credence to uh, to little rumorette. Well, yeah, and I mean, this is FCC, so so this is going through. Um, some people are, are questioning whether the G on it, like, was was placed there, and maybe this is like a sub brand, you know, some sort of other brand uh, that it's not Google hardware. But I, I feel like is it's it photoshopped? Hard. Yeah, I don't. I don't. There's always a question. Like, if this is direct from the FCC, I have to imagine this is a Google piece of hardware, and I could totally see Google. They haven't updated their Nexus, the the player. You know, that's that was a couple of years old. Mm -hmm. Chromecast is still a category that they tend to update. Why wouldn't the next step for the Chromecast dongle be to integrate Android TV capability? I have a feeling it won't look like this. I have a feeling this is just for FCC certification. I have a feeling they're going to cover. Yeah, that they snapped on it. I mean, come on, look at the stuff we got for the Chromecast audio yeah. and the and the usual Chromecast. You know, I've got two beautiful red dongles at home, you know, adorning my TVs. <laughs> beautiful and, red dongles. Beautiful red dongles. Those and dongles I would really appreciate, you know, keeping the theme going if I can. <laughs> and also look at that cord. It looks so cheap. Like, I, I can't imagine Google would put something like that in a box. I feel like yeah. they would go, if they did anything, maybe they would go white aesthetic like they have been with the other but I there, but i got i gotta imagine does the fcc have to look at all at i mean is that just whatever was submitted to the fcc for testing and approval but then the go-to-market product looks much better you know yeah. what i mean yeah i would hope like so. i wouldn't be i wouldn't be surprised if you get a nicer cable you get a you know like is, I, I if this is true i doubt it's going to look like this when it's in our hand coming out of the box yeah i would, I would agree uh, if you scroll down on that victor you can you end up seeing kind of the remote control oh there's there's some extra photos hdmi of that well. sticking um, out there but yeah you end up seeing the remote control down below so um look at that assistant button it's Ooh, nice and plain like the apple tv one by the way there's no like it's just nice and plain. Extra stiff. So Ron Richards, our resident uh, Google uh, TV. What was it called before it was Android TV? Was it Google TV? Google TV. It was Google yeah. TV. Our yeah, resident yeah. Google TV expert. What do you think about this? I mean, I think I think it's I think it's legit. Whether or not it's exactly this or not, I feel like the next evol- evolution of this is uh, an Android TV dongle with the assistant. I think the assistant is the the assistant inclusion is the thing that makes me think it's it's plausible yeah. because so much of what they're doing uh, is driven by assistant. I'm walking through the subways That's in New true. York City every day and seeing the Google Do It ads on the subways. They're mm-hmm. going hard on assistant. Um, and if this is a Roku competitor, uh, it's got 4K support. It's got the whole operating system on the dongle. You just plug it in your TV and it works. This it could be a, it could be a game changer. It could be a real player. Oh, I want to see how it works with the Google Home app. Yeah, that's like oh yeah. I'm just imagining, you know, the possibilities. Well, yeah, I mean, it would probably tie in similar to how it does with the Chromecast, but maybe the fact that it's Android TV gives it a little bit more capability. It's, yeah, it it would be interesting to me from the perspective of the set top box kind of paradigm. It yep. has been so such a a. a a, a, such a a, uh, a constant that you need in order to do a lot of this stuff. You need that little box, that big or little box, 
you know, taking up shelf space. But I guess Roku's kind of been doing Roku's a lot of this stuff. Roku's got a stick. Yeah, yeah. They've, they've got the and stick. They so this is an outside into, They come built into and, and, some TVs. Yeah. TCL. Yeah. Amazon, Amazon Fire HD or yep. Fire stick is a stick, right? It's doable yep. as a stick. Yeah. And the thing is, is that I think Google, there's been a, this is all speculation, but there's a, a sector of Google that is held on to Chromecast as the solution. And we all know Chromecast is awesome. It's an amazing technology. Watch a normal person try to use it. It's just not intuitive. It's confusing. It, and honestly, I love Chromecast. The dang thing disconnects halfway through. It like does. I'm watching, I'm watching an hour show, and and the phone is no longer connected to the Chromecast, and I got to go into the Google Home app and do. Yeah. It's I had to like, restart it's, this morning to remove a stuck notification. Yeah, oh, yeah exactly. Crazy. So imagine being able to plug in a dongle the same size as the Chromecast and have a set top box functionality and a remote, and you don't need to throw something from your phone to it and look for the icon and all that sort of stuff. It just it, it minimizes friction, which I think for yeah. going for a consumer marketplace that's so important yeah absolutely yeah. Agreed. cool so maybe we'll find out more about that at, at google io or maybe we'll wait till the november hardware TV, so i can't use it anyway it's still stuck <laughs> in the past well, i don't have 4k either i don't have 4k I wonder either if it would still work on less i asked my cut i asked my cousin in law who's a huge movie nerd and he was his 4k i'm like be honest can you tell the difference because i really believe that a certain resolution a certain point becomes imperceptible to the eye mm -hmm. and he says it looks great, but I notice it when I go down to non 4K. Like, I stuff looks worse. Yeah, I can mm. see and that. And that's interesting. I think yeah. you know, like I know, I know, seeing the amazing hundred hundred inch screen of CES running 4K with these vistas or whatever. But put a movie in, and do I notice it or not? But on the downshift, you notice it. I think that gives it the, va the, the value. Something that you recognize, yeah, yeah. that you've, yeah. you've seen before. Yeah. yeah.